legitimately a town of pumpkins. Pumpkin town. It's super cute. It's super cute. How have we never been here? Because we've never been here. Right. It looks like a lot of the other um, didn't think anything was here. cute little places that we go. Hey Flam Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is David. This is not my jungle. <laughs> We're at Paul's and Sandy's too. Maybe East it was Hampton, Connecticut. Paul's first and that's then Sandy thinking. came along. Well, that's what the sign would indicate. Because it says yeah, Paul's. Like, that sign looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we were yeah. arguing about if that was like the proper we call it an plural. argument. We were just discussing. Okay. It's fine. See, that's what an argument means. It's not means. like data and data. Whatever. People <laughs> think that to argue means like you have to be angry and that is not the correct definition of the word. Yeah, at I like all. to argue just... happy. Anyway, so we're here to check out their house plants as well as Pumpkin Town, Woo! USA. Yeah. So that was good. <laughs> I don't really know what we're, we're gonna do first. We're gonna go look around. We're just and gonna and walk in and uh, see what goes on. Yeah. So let's go. Pumpkins. Okay. <laughs> pumpkin people <laughs> in Pumpkin Town. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. I certainly have no trouble finding the house plants. <laughs> We're gonna get apple cider. Relax. We're trying to look at the house plants first. Look how cute it is in here. Some massive micans. Twelve ninety nine is a good price for the Maharani. Silt Pecana. Oh, thirty five. That's a good price for this big one. Thirteen good for back baby. Yes. Very much so. Just gonna get a little overview first. I'm not looking for Hoya, you're looking for Hoya. These are so cute. Aren't they cute? Some really nice Monstera Ansonii, regular, degular form. Cute little exotica. Some decursivas for 25. That's a good price. This is a big one. She got a little bit of tan. Oh, look at that leaf. Kind of wild. <laughs> $100 princesses. That's not bad. Some cute little jewel orchids. I don't know if this is the one that I have or not. I can't tell the difference between them, to be honest with you. Yeah, these are nice. From Emma's. Baby Sebu Blue. And Curly Girl Cuttings <laughs> for 10 bucks. Cute. Mm -hmm. Cute, they look just like mine. <laughs> um, Some really pretty... Begonia, why couldn't I think of Begonia? 40 bucks for that one, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my God, look at all of the disc color. It's so pretty. $28.99. Some Amazonicas, are they the same price? $28.99. Cute, very cute. This is adorable in here. Oh my god, there's so much more. Oh, we're doing. Oh, snap skis. What's over here? What are you? Moonlight synapsis? This is not what mine looks like. Hmm. Oh, look at Burl Marks Fantasy. I just bought one. Hmm. 25 that's a really good price some jade satin for only eight ten dollars okay we're gonna get a few of those uh-oh dark form for 15 this one's coming home with me <laughs> it's the only one you're gonna have to hold it obovada splash is super cute i think this is the variegated um 
strawberry begonia, right? <laughs> Super cute. Splash synapsis. Mine takes forever to grow. But look at this one. This one has a beautiful growth point. We're gonna have to get one of those too. <laughs> Just holding all the things. Syngonium <laughs> elbow. <laughs> Oh my god, no way. Mm. Oh my god, we gotta buy this one too. Okay. What's that? This is, this oh, that's the big one. <gasps> Look at this leaf. This For leaf. 30, it's in Lekka already? Yeah. Oh my god, a oh, cute yeah, little Encanas. For eight dollars. Yeah, you're gonna keep holding the plants. <laughs> Some silver stripe for only 12 bucks. That's a good price. Do you have a silver sword? Singonium. I do have a silver sword. You could pull it out so we could look at it though. How much is the silver sword? Ten bucks. Wow. That's a good price. Mm. That's a really good price. That's a those are two major wish list plants right there. Look at how pretty. That's really pretty. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, what's hiding back here? Philodendron compost port. Toanum. I can never say that one. Your we call it compost. Spider. We don't care about the spider plants <laughs> right now. What's wrong with you? Oh, there's a hay eye back there. Yeah, there's a couple hay eyes. We need some wood. What is this? Mm. Oh, another synapsis that I don't have. The lucens. Mm. We're gonna have to get that one too. Oh god. I gotta check my bank account. This is a problem. I want all of them. I want this one too. <laughs> yes, that's fine with me. This one doesn't have a price on it, but I want this one too. That's the compost port toanum. Wow, that's a mouthful. We just call it compost. That's terrible, you just called it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we need that one too. Oh. This is a regular burl marks? That doesn't look like a burl marks. But it is a philodendron. <sighs> What's hiding? Just more lemon lime marantas. Seen I know, yeah, but this is <laughs> where all the good stuff is apparently, so that's what we're doing right now. I can't get over these. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's Everything Karen, is fine. This is Karen's own personal collection. Yes, that doesn't surprise me at all. Nothing about that is surprising. She's got the good plants. I don't know where she's hiding, but she's got the good plants. Some string of spades, 30, that's good. I just paid 40 for the same exact container. Yeah, they are. Look at them. Imagine if I bought that one and cut it up. It took me like an hour. Okay, see Hoyas, you guys. Variegated. String of hearts, 36.99. So go put them, go put them over there. She's probably right in there if you want. Ask her to hold them for you. Mm-hmm. You could do it, I believe in you. This is that weird Peperomia that I don't know the name of. I wonder if she does. $39.99. Bunch of pubic -like splash. Oh, this is the big Australis. Ten newbies, ten newbies, ten, I don't know what it's called. Koya Retusa, 40 bucks. Yeah, these are the Australis variety that have the really big leaves that David has. We've got some Hoya Macrophylla, Macrophylla, $16.99, that's a good price. Good price, good price, good price. You guys. I feel a little overwhelmed right now. Look at this tetrasperma. Super cute. All right. 
focus. Yes. Exactly. Can you hold my mask what if for it's me? A mandarin spider I is that what they're called? I always see them labeled just as like chlorophytum, but they don't look like a regular spider plant that you're used to seeing. Okay. Philodendron section, she really does pack a lot in here. How much is the gold eye? The one you got your hands on. Brazil for 25. That's this, a good price. This, this is 25. That's a good price for that too. Mm -hmm. I don't have room for one or I would get one. Look at these. Green diamond. See, I like these, like the upright ones that grow like like bird's nesty. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's like an actual scientific word for it that I don't know. I just keep calling them bird's nest because of like the ferns and stuff that are called bird's nest fern. 20 bucks. Look at this thing. For 20 bucks? It's like bigger than my head. <laughs> like kind of obnoxious. Where would you even put that? I even need a lot of space. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's check out what's going on over here. There's so many. This looks like the Imperial Red. The pots that those Goldie Eyes are in are super cute. Some pothos. Ooh, this leaf is pretty. And then, ooh, the Jade Satin. 36, that's actually a really good price hmm. for a nice hanging basket of it. I know they come in kind of wrinkly and wonky, but these are such a pain to get to grow. Look at this. Is that a thing? They come in just like hmm. silver like does it that? Revert or does it just like I don't know. It's interesting though. I have two leaves yeah, I'm working cool. on a third one on mine 25 for the exotica yeah somebody mm. I bought a cutting mm. online silver yan versus the regular argyreus mm. did a video on that <laughs> how to tell the difference between the two because it's a struggle struggle city struggle cute little brandies um, they always look really good in the greenhouse and then you take them home and they just slowly decline. 20, <laughs> what has somebody said to me one time, like good looking brandies are a myth. <laughs> I thought that was a really funny way to put it. They only look good in there, like in the greenhouses. Look, this is the one I keep telling you that you should get. Cause it's like kind of bluish and like really aggressive. You're bluey. They have a couple. Six dollars. Mother of millions, somebody told me this one was called. Some pickles. Whatever you do, don't touch the opuntia. <laughs> you will be sitting there pulling little hairs out of your fingers for hours. <laughs> the Isle of Misfit Plants. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that's cute. Some sale plants. Cute little string of hearts for $5. That's a good price. I love that it's mostly pepperomias. Okay, so and a couple of sad brandies. Look, see? The berries. Hmm? The berries. The barrels? Oh, shit. Yeah. You think yours will look like that one day? I hope not. Just like growing barrels on barrels. This one's pretty too. It's Haworthia. All right, we missed so many plants we that we just like walked back. right past. Yeah. Mic Some citrus plants, Aglionemas that I murder. This cutlass is really pretty though. Twenty four ninety nine. If I ever found like a little one. I like the leaves, like they're narrow, and I like the pattern on them. Let's keep the one Aglionema alive first, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just saying. Don't do it. <laughs> Cute little prayer plants. 
25 for the red maranta. There's some little ones down here. I really struggle with these. I have the one variegated one that just keeps on dying and coming back. Every time I think this is it, it's dead. But it keeps coming back. See, look, this is the um, Australis that you have, right? The ten UFBs, ten. Tenupees. You say Tenupees, but I'm sure, you're pretty sure, it's there's another this syllable is, this is, this is, in there. It's like way thicker than this, though. Well, it's this it's the weird, bigger yeah. leaf variety. And then there's just a bunch of pubic calyx splash. I think this pubic calyx is super super underrated like because it's common I don't think people give it the hype it deserves look at that yeah it's, pretty cool. it's beautiful $16.99 this is one of my favorite Hoyas and pretty much anything that they cross it with I'm a big fan of oop look at the mutant leaf you see it it's got lobes <laughs> <laughs> I know, I love when they tendril out like that. Some string of turts. <laughs> $24.99, look at all the blooms. I cut all the blooms off of mine because I'm like, girl, mm. stop wasting your energy on these boring ass blooms. I think these were like $15, $19.99, I lied. But the one on sale for $5 is like kind of a steal. Some zebra plants down here with their cute little blooms. Look at the bloom. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It kind of looks like a bromeliad. I don't know how I feel about it. I like the xanthosoma better. $16.99. Philodendron that I don't know the name of. Homolamina, $19.99. Can't keep that thing alive to save my life either. Well, here's some Rotundifolia, $19.99. These cute little air plants, like they <laughs> carve these little rocks into owls and put eyes on them. Aren't they cute? Oh, I like this pot. $12.99. Doesn't that go with my vibe? Definitely. With the yellow? Might have to snag that too. To see what the damage is. Lots of string of things. String of dolphins. String of pearls. 25. String of tears. Oh, this one's black. Yeah, I saw it. Interesting. Yeah. These are the really chonky ones. <laughs> I don't know if they're like a different variety or if they're just more mature. You're such a child. Can you just like not play with the fountain? <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Some cute ficus over here. Ficus. $8.99 for this cute little baby Audrey. I like the, the care thing is up here. Hmm. It's, it's, like, it's, it's gonna drop leaves. Like, yeah. May drop some leaves and regrow them. You mean all of them? <laughs> Cute little altissimas for $10.99. I've been seeing these pop up a lot. I struggle with this one a little bit more than the others, maybe because they're so thin. Mm. A little baby leaf. Ficus Benjaminas over here, all the different varieties. I like these, I'm just afraid that I would kill them. I like this variegated one, it's cute. Some oyster plants, Tritoscantias, the fuzzy, fuzzy one that I can't tell if I it's like it or if it creeps me out um, for $7. It's like right, it's like fuzzy, but like not in a not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> and here's all that Cebu blue again. Whoa, this leaf is big. 
Just some big leaves. $19.99. It's about right. I paid $18, I think, for mine. You, or you can get this one already up on a pole for $54. 24 for this hanging one. 35. This one looks good. 35 is a good price for that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Some of my favorite plants right here, you guys. This is a cute pot. Don't you have one like that? Mm -hmm. I, I like that there. one. Yeah. And then all the micans that I ran past because I was just like, oh my god, plants. <laughs> $20 for these. Lots of both of these are in my shop. If you guys are looking for them. And more silt to pecan over here. These little baby ones are super cute for 20 bucks. Aren't they? This plant just like never really grows right. Like you really gotta train it to grow nicely for you. Hmm. Oh, alocasia stingray. Be careful with its leaves. I had one and I murdered it. Thirty-six ninety-nine, but I really enjoyed it I while really I had like it. The, um, mm -hmm. it. Really cool. I think they're cool. Uh, cool leaves. Twelve ninety-nine for this alocasia something beauty. Hello, beauty. This cute little baby. Bambino, $12.99. You're gonna have to drive me here like all the time now. <laughs> you realize that, right? <laughs> you can have all the cider donuts you want you said in the world the as long as you drive me here. <laughs> I think we covered most of them. There's these cute little jewel orchids that I, I think are the same as the one that I have. Mine has like similar, I don't know, there's a few that all look the same. The Decursivas are really pretty. They're super slow growing, not at all like their cousin, the Tetrasperma, that just thinks it's a weed and wants to grow on everything. But these are like the weird little leafed ones for 10 bucks, uh, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. I need to take another nap. <laughs> <laughs> There's a begonia, begonia maculata. It's my favorite. In case you're new here and you didn't know that already, twelve ninety nine. That's a good price for like a really nice, healthy plant. I really like the color of this pot. It doesn't go with my aesthetic, but it's really pretty. It actually matches this begonia, doesn't it? Bloop! Look at it. It's so cute. Oh my god, that's adorable. I would murder you, though. So, yeah. I just got one of these recently. I want one of these eventually. Look how pretty they are when they vine. I know, but they're so cute. I love the... They're also pretty ornamental. I like me a good ornamental leaf. Okay, we're gonna look at these again. <laughs> Just, just, just in case, right just in case, yeah. yeah, there's the pearls and jade hiding back here, synapsis splash, yeah, I'm like, I'm tempted by this because it's only $8 to like share with you guys. You know. What do you think? Dude, I don't even, I don't, I don't, everything's a blur. I don't even know what to <laughs> carry over there. I don't even know either. <laughs> You're just like Some black this, this, pagoda this, this, for five bucks. I struggle to root these. I wonder how she I like these little clear containers though. Hmm. I'm to find out where she got those. Cute, 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 cute. Cuttings in moss, lightly rooted cuttings would prefer to stay in the moss container for a few more weeks. Yeah, they'll be in there for longer than that because I'm lazy. Cute. They are. 
You definitely don't need more Tinder. philodendron. Tinder. Maybe I Appreciate should. Appreciate from afar. <laughs> Oh, goodness. You know when to say when when it comes to your plants. Maybe I should get one of these for a giveaway. What do you think? Should I get the silver stripe for... Did she say that she was holding two other ones for you? There's yes. There's like eight plants over yes, there. Yes, right she has plants for me over there. Should I get a silver stripe or a jade satin for a giveaway? What do you currently have for giveaways? Nothing. Oh, okay. I mean, that's up to you. I don't know. I, I just, you're asking me. I'm asking the wrong person. You're asking me because you hear, I'm going to answer you and then you're going to say, no, I think it's this one. So That's not, not true at all. That is not factual, <laughs> sir. No, this one's really nicely rooted, though. That's a good giveaway yes, plant. I really like that one. I do, too. But this one has a new, yeah, it's got a new, little new growth deep. point. I think that's a good... Look at the roots on it. I think that's a good... I mean, this one has a growth point too. Why you like this one better? That one might be better to photograph. Some big pretty leaves. Okay, you win. We'll go with that one. Yeah. I know that people are on the hunt for this one, but um, I can just cut mine eventually. We don't. We don't need to do that. And then I think this one might be good for a giveaway too. Yes. Yes, I do. Feels like it was so quick, and you're just like just plants. Yeah. Well, I want to get giveaway plants. I think those are good giveaway plants. Mm. And then I have Cebu Blue and Silt Pecan and and all that good stuff I could throw in there too. Mm. Let's see if there's anything over here we missed. A string of needles. I don't want to leave here. I just want to stay here forever. <laughs> Cute little African violets. The old lady plants. Ruby Cascade. 19.99. No, but that's good that they sell Lekka. Most people don't. It's actually really hard to find. Really hard to find in nurseries and stuff some watermelon peps back there for 12 bucks mine has like two leaves it's just hanging on <laughs> bonnie spider plant for 15. and i think we covered everything they are yeah kind of pasta that i like Kemp, Kemp. Kempa, kempa, I, forget I, I don't know. It's pasta. I don't know what kind of pasta you're trying to talk it's about. It's like a little trumpet pasta. Trumpet pasta? Something like that, yeah. Maybe it's called trumpet pasta. You know what? It's. <laughs> <laughs> Some. This Bakia is so pretty it looks fake. <laughs> Doesn't it? It looks like the fake ones you see at like restaurants and stuff. <laughs> right? Or should I get a bigger one? I don't know because it's pretty. <laughs> Is that not a logical reason? <laughs> You're reasoning. <laughs> Whatever. Should I get a bigger one? Why? Because it's, because it's pretty. Because it's more of a pretty plant. Yeah. Well, that one's to give away, so. <laughs> cute. Super cute. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go buy some plants and then drive through pumpkin town pumpkin town pumpkin town they should hire to hire us to make a, a jingle <laughs> this is so pretty oh we skipped over this sayuri sansevieria that was beautiful <laughs> yeah all right let's purchase some plants i'm just gonna stare at these again for a minute Mm, they're so pretty. I can't handle it. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You're gonna run? 
<laughs> we didn't bring an umbrella. I love this pimple. This is in a great spot right there. We're like, we're like some kind of weird monks or something. Hey. Okay. Oh my God, these are so cute. Cute little country store. Yes. Do you need a a unicorn horn? I just might. <laughs> it's a matter of which one. Mm, these peppers look so good. Mm -hmm. What are they all? Peppers. Those are poblanos. What are these? I don't know. Hungarian hot wax peppers. Is it bad that I'm really curious? I'm really curious. I'm Do you think they're spicy? We should just you should just eat one. I think we should get out. some. Yeah. I'm down. Uh -huh. Wait, look at this one. <laughs> That's very strange. I like this one. Okay. You want to just get two? Yeah, that's enough for us to heat ourselves. I vote for three. three. Oh God, look at how cute. Pumpkin Town, USA. <laughs> I like this little mug. Do you need a cowbell? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I, I need one of these and just like, you know, put it wherever you are and you can just be like, Can I latte. have a latte, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I like this one because it kind of looks like the poop emoji <laughs> and it's a ghost. It's like the cutest little greenhouse I've ever seen in my life. It was, it was really nice. We're going to be coming back like as Too often well. as he'll drive me here. Frequently. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to Pumpkin Town. We the got little spicy peppers too. market was cute too. Yeah, what were they called? I have it on camera. Oh, no. Something hot. wax. Something Brazilian wax. wax. Portuguese. They were Portuguese. They were oh, Brazilian. Okay. I think they were Brazil. The Brazilian wax? Yeah. This, I did not get that at Pumpkin Town. No. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a minute. <laughs> of course it did. I have plant brain. You do have plant brain. Yeah. I get plant brain when I'm around plants. My it nose is red. It's, nice. it's a little chilly. All right, so let's go to Pumpkin Town. It's raining a little bit, but um, we're going to roll these windows down and show you guys as much of Pumpkin Town as we can. Yeah. So. Rainy Pumpkin Town. Yeah. Spooky yeah. vibes. Okay. I don't know what that face was. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> if my car got like stuck in the woods. <laughs> really I don't bad. think that would be funny. We no. off-roading in a Prius. Yeah, normal stuff. Hi, Hi. how are you? Welcome to Pumpkin Town Forest. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. For the trail. Thank that sounds you. like a lot of treats already. Oh Thank my you. goodness. So you guys just head through there and if you'll just keep an eye on the speed limit, keep it down at two Oh my God, there. there's popcorn gotcha. in here. Nice and easy. Nice. You got it. We're looking Thank for a nice you. Ride. Thank you. Oh my gosh. There's nice snacks. There's donuts snacks. in here. <gasps> Do you want a donut? Duh. <laughs> We've got snacks for the ride. Oh, Pumpkin Town Forest. This is stinking cute. Um, there's also a big thing of popcorn. Oh my god, look, it says Pumpkin Town USA on it. Stop it. What else is in here? <clears throat> oh my god, little apple ciders. It says please stay in your car. Stop it, you guys. This is so cute. She gave us stuff for our ride. <laughs> you want some popcorn? Yeah, we do. I don't yeah. know if it's buttered. Will you tell me if it's buttered? You should roll the joint for this. <laughs> <laughs> Blazing at pumpkin town like these dudes. There's probably some Are these supposed to be like the pilgrims? It's a teepee. What does that mean? It's Native like American Native pumpkins. Like Native Americans, yeah. Yeah. That's different from pilgrims. Oh. I wish that we were on one of those tracks so you didn't have to drive. So you tried the again. Track? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy's over here hoeing. You a hoe. Got a little bit of edema going on there with that belly. <laughs> 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 but this is a cute little barn. Yeah. Oh, he's hoeing too. <laughs> right? Isn't that what it's called? I don't, I don't, 
He's like, he looks like a real person. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, that's that's called tilling, but the stuff's already growing. So oh, chickens. Those are bunnies. They look like pig cows. Pig cows? Yeah, pig cow. They are cute. I meant over there in the chicken coop. I like, oh yeah. Those are chickens. Those are chickens, yeah. Oh my gourd, chickens. Look at the little ones over here too. Just a child. <laughs> driving with popcorn and pumpkin and apple cider in the bucket. Kind of, yeah, just a little bit. Is this one golfing? Whatever. I need to be entertained. That's Stop. really good. It, is it? I'm they probably, probably make it themselves. I'm probably going reaction, but it's fine. Well, it's not a lot. I'll just have a little bit. I'll have some too. Sub homie. Oh, he looks like he's, he's really concentrating. Yeah, this dude's happy because he's just. Balls in a sand trap, what are you so happy about? <laughs> These guys are chopping wood. That's where the golf ball landed. Making a cabin. <laughs> That's funny. And like a legit, a I'm surprised the fire's still going with the rain. Oh, look, it's Tyre Banks. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a picture up on the screen. You guys, we were dying laughing, watching Dancing with the Stars last night. Because Tyre Banks had on a Tyre Banks' outfit and it didn't even register in my head until he said it. <laughs> he was like, It looks like one of those like paper things and I was like, She's a straight up paper turkey. Yeah. Her dress paper, looked like a paper turkey. Decor, like oh, this is the schoolhouse. Yeah. Well there's nobody here, so That's true. that would low key creep me out if if I didn't know. There was supposed to be a ding ding. Yeah, a little bit of a Blair Witch vibe right now, but it's fine. This must be so much fun to set up. I like your mop, do. <laughs> cute. What is this green thing right by the I don't bridge? know, but this cute little bridge it's is got adorable. Eyes. What? It's right over there. It's a frog. Oh. This is so cute. <laughs> so cute. Sup, homie? Nice stash. Ooh. Sugary. Yeah, it's good. I like these cute little pumpkin sippers. What's that thing called? Oh, it's a grinding wheel. Oh, oh well, sure that's stuff. very like self-explanatory. Yeah. Cute. Cool. Is that an outhouse? Are we about to roll up on somebody dropping a deuce? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I feel bad, homie. I'm I mean, sorry. Look at him. He's really surprised. <laughs> you know what? I feel uncomfortable. We're <laughs> Another <laughs> golf ball and tire banks. <laughs> Cute, it's a little mine. Mm. That's adorable. Yeah, so cute. I need to come up with more adjectives that aren't cute. Looks adorable. Oh my god, so cute. Little farmer's oh, market. It's got a little scale and everything. Cute. <laughs> Lumber. Oh, it's a little country store. That's super cute. It is. A little fake milk jugs. Sup, homie? Wanna play some checkers? <laughs> oh my god, stop it. That's adorable. Look at him, he's putting the freaking apples <laughs> off the tree. Those are so cute. That's so cute. I'm not gonna say cute anymore, I swear. I'm done. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm taking the word cute out of my vocabulary. That's cute. Whatever, you're cute. Sorry for all the rain noise. Hopefully you guys can still hear me saying that everything is so cute. Thanks for taking the ride at Bumpkin Town. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Let's come up with a word that's not cute to describe our experience. Cute. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know, I got popcorn. In real life, so we had the the games the whole time. 
we saw all of these things, though. Mm -hmm. We're pretty perceptive. The milk bottles, the checkerboard. Definitely a fun thing to do. It's not raining too much. We if you're in the area. Stroll through the village. Yeah, we can take a stroll through the village. I like <clears throat> Mac pumpkins. You see it? <laughs> Uh oh, children must be accompanied by an adult to enter. Well, See? Hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> like this one? So we can remember. That horse is kind of terrifying. So, wow. I like all the little kids in the back though. <laughs> how tall this fall. That's cute. We go see how tall you are. Wilfred Walnut. <laughs> what is his name? Chili Pepper. <laughs> Henry Hazelnut. <laughs> Sensing a theme. Oh, that's a really big blade. Okay, I'm getting a real Demon Barber with Fleet Street vibe right now, but it's fine. Guido Gaspacho. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's not <laughs> offensive. <laughs> I guess this is where yeah. the Italians are. So his hair looks like that. Oh, do you want to go through the hay maze? It's the Guido Gaspacho. I'm gonna get lost in there. You remind me of the babe. You're gonna get lost. Looking <laughs> down bank. Oh, this is a stick up. Uh oh. I'm like really interested. <laughs> droopy draws <laughs> this is ridiculous ricky radish porky potato it's the post office like this this guy's trying to stick me up you're like actually legitimately going through the maze you're so dumb No. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. Feed me. You know how to hula hoop? I do. Yeah. Not in the rain. Oh, you lame. Go ahead, hula hoop. No. What? They're like all muddy. Oh, yeah. How tall this fall? Let's see how tall you are. You're a growing boy. Oh, boy. It says you're six foot. Wrong. Well, yeah, sure I don't know how accurate old. that is. How tall am I? Yeah, <laughs> looking like a five, five seven. Yeah, I'm like five eight. Yeah. Five nine. About sixty nine inches. Geraldo guacamole. Pedro pimento. One jalapeno, bonita banana. Okay, fam. So we're back. We went to Pumpkin Town and we got T-shirts. Doesn't count if you didn't get T-shirts. And he's still eating his popcorn. <laughs> So I it's wanted to take a moment. Yeah, you need some apple cider too. I'm gonna probably after I try to eat that thing. <laughs> Even not I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know why we're trying to do this. Because we got a new pepper, Brazilian wax. This is not. <laughs> but this we got a bag, of, a bag of plants, and I I'm wanted really to nervous. show you guys a little bit more up close our haul, what we got. First, we picked up this. Syndapsis lucens, but it's actually not a syndapsis, it's an anadendrum. It's focusing on your face. I need you to not have your face there. There you go. Anadendrum affinis, I think. Um, so, you know, I picked the cutest one that was there. Hopefully this leaf will um, unfurl and be happy. Looks like it needs a little bit of water, but I am loving these cute little silver leaves. Doesn't it kind of look like a silted pecana? A little bit. But it looks like, like a little, like a rotund silted yeah, pecana. Silt like a fatter, ro rounder rotunda one. Rotunda pecana. So I've never had an anadendrum. Do you guys have any care tips? Help a sister out! Wait, so that's like a whole different thing. Yeah. yeah and right. then I picked up this Syndapsis Trubii Dark Form, which I'm super excited to have in my collection. It's focusing on your face again. 
<laughs> because I've been wanting one for a long time and they're usually really expensive and this was only $15 mm -hmm. for this little rooted cutting. It has some good roots in there. I really, I forgot to ask her where she got these clear things from. I don't have to ask her. So not mad about that. Super cute. These are really slow growers, so I don't anticipate it really doing anything anytime soon. But it's fine. So, and then <laughs> the most exciting thing is this philodendron varicosum, you guys. Look at that leaf. Look at that leaf. Look at that leaf. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the back of that leaf. Oh, man. And it's like got these like little fuzzy petioles. Can you see? Like they're kind of like fuzzy. Ooh, like a fuzzy petiole. It'll get fuzzier as it matures. Mm. So, this leaf is looking a little sand but that's its oldest leaf, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's working on a new one. Yeah. I don't know sheet. how happy it's gonna come in, but this is in Lekka. Weird. Look at those roots. It is leaking. Yeah, well, it's in nutrient water. Freaky. So you see how it's just kind of in like a net pot? Mm -hmm. This was only $30, you guys. What? $30. There weren't any other ones, Everybody so don't go trying to get one, time. but they have lots of other ones available for sure. And then I picked up for myself this Syndapsis Moonlight, but it's not the Trubii Moonlight. I think this is called a Moonlight, even though the actual name is the Officinalis. I don't know. I can show you guys a picture on the screen here over his face. Sometimes I like to do that instead of having to add the noise in later. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the same noise. Yeah. Yeah. I do that all the time. So, yeah, this one's pretty similar, but it's wider, and you can see the silvering is like a little bit different. It's not across the whole leaf. So, some new growth in there, too. This one, I don't know, didn't have a price on it. So, I don't actually know how much she charged me for that one or if she charged me for it at all. You were just like, to hold all these. To hold and these then you plants. Just like <laughs> threw your wallet at her. Okay, yeah, I did. Like, take my money. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, these next two are for a giveaway Ooh. for you guys. This is not an official giveaway announcement yet, but I did so want to show them to you. So, I picked up this Syndapsis Jade Satin cutting for you guys fully rooted it's got some nice chunky roots in there i don't know if you could see them and in soil with some new growth coming in so definitely go follow me on instagram if you're not already so you do not miss this giveaway super cute yeah, love it and then i also picked up this silver stripe philodendron cutting for you guys as well look at how beautiful really cool these leaves are. I mean, I'm just saying I picked this one out for the giveaways. So. He did. He yeah. picked a good one. This one was only $12 and it's got a new growth point. So I've been seeing these pop up a lot more. Definitely don't go paying a lot of money for these at all. And then the last plant that I want to show you guys is actually a gift from Karen. Thank you, Karen. Here's how sweet. Definitely go check out Polly's and everybody Paul's. I, why do I always say Polly's? Um, I always want to say Polly's. Like a Polly. Paul and Sandy's. Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, and say hi to Karen. Let her know that Jacqueline's Jungle sent you. The people from Jacqueline's Jungle. The people from Jacqueline's Jungle. <laughs> so she imported these recently for her personal collection and she wanted to share them with me, which was really, really sweet. So I think she said that who she bought it from labeled it as a syndapsis neon strike or Oops. something along those lines this throws me off because this is okay. not what a syndapsis usually looks like when the leaves unfurl Calthea. it does and the, leaves, vibes. the leaves are much thinner it's just the way it's coming in like that's what it reminds me yeah of but it's sure. not yeah, it's, it's not really... like maybe but why would somebody plant. sell it as a syndapsis if it was a calathea it would at least have to be like somewhat closely related so I don't actually know what these are she gave me two of them one for me and one for you guys I'm probably gonna hold on to them just for a little while just to get them to grow and, get out of the and um, figure out what they actually are and then definitely keep your eyes open for 
another giveaway where one of these will be featured. I just kind of want to figure out what they are and make sure I can get it to grow and be happy and healthy. It has some decent roots. This one does anyway. You can see them before, you know, we go crazy with that. But if you have any idea or if you've seen this before on the interweb or anything like that, <laughs> I saw it Definitely in my Yahoo. Definitely let me know because <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I did yeah. see some sellers selling it as a syndapsis neon stripe, but oh. there's not a lot of information out there about it. So, who knows? You want to try this pepper? Um, it's supposed to be really hot. Oh, it's hot. Yes, yeah, hot. Okay. No, it's fine. It's not that bad. No, mm, it's pretty good. It tastes like a bell pepper, but spicier. I just had a seed, and that was a mistake. Yeah, that was hot. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go. You need some buttery popcorn. To... Ha! Oh. Oh, I picked up this cute. It just dribbled all over me. I picked up this cute <laughs> pot too. This pot was only twelve ninety nine. And then she gave us some, oh. this is like liquid. Can you stop banging the table? I'm sorry. This is like liquid mosquito bits. So we're gonna try this out. And um, apparently it's supposed to work better. So we're gonna try that and see oh. how that goes. I can let you guys know. You okay? No. no. All right, well, that's it for this video, okay. you guys. <laughs> well, he okay. sweats it out over there. Yeah, I'm gonna sweat it out a little bit. I hope that you enjoyed this fun little vlog. I hope that you enjoyed Pumpkin Town and if you're in the East Hampton area, it's only what? 30 Even minutes. Even not. It's like well worth it. About 30 drive. minutes yeah. from Hartford. It's well worth a drive. Super easy drive, super cute little town. Absolutely. And do the Pumpkin Town tour like yeah. the one in the woods and stuff. It's really And they cool. have a lot of really great plants. So Absolutely. Good if you people. like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I'm from me. Go, it's all in the same spot, always down below. Like you subscribe and okay. Anyway, so um, go follow him if you want to. I'm on there, if and <laughs> we will see you guys in the next one. Yay, pumpkin town, Yay, you pumpkin town. <laughs> Cheers. Salute. I only <laughs> ate the tip. Just the tip. I got some seeds, and now my throat's on fire. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> it's like when I cut open a jalapeno and the oil gets in my eyes. <laughs> you right there, Chief? That's a hot pepper. Yeah, that, that, what, that, yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine.